Hello once again everybody and welcome back. I'm Necromanticer and today we're going to be heading into the farmer's market here in Rapture. We are back to Bioshock and now it's time for us to work out how to get this Lazarus vector up and running to restore all the plant life here in Arcadia. Let's get a quick hat. Ooh. Well, it sounds like a splicer's already found us, so we're going to want to pay attention for that once we get out of this here hack, but it doesn't look like this hack is going to give us too many issues. Looks pretty straightforward. There would have been a little bit of a trap if we tried to run it across the bottom, but they didn't manage to catch us with that. And there's our horizontal pieces, so we're good to go. Just increase the flow and set that up. Yeah, another one of those Saturnine. Messing around with everything, casting fire everywhere. Where, where is he? Is there... No, there's no one over there. I'll run away. Okay, there we are. That's what I'm looking for. Let's see what we're getting. Okay. There we go. Let's let's just zap her and see if we can do away with her that way. Oh, bingo. And it looked like she kicked a first aid kit. Was that... Oh, it was not my imagination. Wonderful. That's another chlorophyll solution, and I'm pretty sure we have enough, as is, just because we've been so thorough about it, but I can't say for absolute certain, so let's not worry about that. Now that we've hacked this, I just want to grab an extra first aid kit. It doesn't have anything good, so I'm not going to worry about exactly what else it can offer us. Oh, that's sad. Just a bunch of trash corpses. But here we are heading up into this here farmer's market. Attention! A new curfew will be enacted on Thursday. Citizens found in violation will be relocated to Apollo Square. Yeah. Clearly, regulation was becoming sort of the norm here in Rapture. Anyone who ever told Tenenbaum to have a heart is finally getting their wish. She's starting to see these little sisters as exactly what they are, little girls, and that is detrimental to her research. Very much gets in the way of her actually conducting herself as a scientist. Oh, hello. Well, okay then. We'll see you on the other side of this here bulkhead. And here we are in the farmer's market. Yeah, let's look at this. A man creates. Parasite asks, where's my share? Some of that good old Andrew Ryan propaganda. You gotta love that. Oh, that's my first bit of the enzyme sample. Julie, my dear, I am trying to run a business here. You want to spend time with my honeybees? Well, I'm gonna have to start charging you for the pleasure. If I come out one more time and find you lolling out there amongst my hives, I'm grabbing my shotgun. As to your question, yes, my days in beekeeping school are a blur. But I do seem to remember something about that enzyme you keep blabbing on about. Not the friendliest place, Rapture. But <laughs> you can see that she was already trying to... Oh. Uh, Miss Langford was trying... Oh, that's clever. Oh, nobody... Really, come on. There's nothing in this photo, it's just smoke. But, uh... Langford was trying to put together her Lazarus vector, but... Circumstances kind of conspired against her. Now, oh, come on. Don't run away, what's the point in that? It looks like there's a camera out here, so... I'm gonna want to deal with that right after this. Hack this guy right on up. Hopefully it'll help me deal with the splicers in the area, because we have just been thrown right into the thick of it. I mean, we just now reached the uh, farmer's market and already things are just 
coming at us like it's nobody's business. Really active place, this. Even the music sounds really active and just things going on. There we go. That'll teach him. And some frag grenade. I swear to god, these turrets don't understand when somebody has died. They'll be lying there dead on the floor for like two seconds and the turret deems it appropriate to just keep firing. It's a very, very annoying little thing going on there. I really wish I knew how much of that ore fill I had, but I don't think there's an easy way to check it. I might have an inventory somewhere, but not very easily. That's one of these this here, Eve Link, which is another uh, physical tonic, and I'm pretty full up on those. I really like all the ones that I have, so I'm not gonna grab that just yet. Nothing free else from here, so let's head on back and deal with that security camera that was looking around. Nothing over here, nothing behind. Oh, you see, this is why you you take the time to look around. You you might miss things like that. I wore it for you, Father. Oh, geez, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Let's switch to this to the armor piercing. Okay, let's go in and get this all done. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Some of these jump hacks can be a pretty wonky hitbox, so you get you just gotta keep hopping and. Hope you can grab it, but it's an interesting mechanic. I like the fact that not every hack is just a uh, turret sitting in front of you. It really makes you work for it. And that's our hack. Increase the flow speed. We've now got this camera on our side. And I want to take care of this guy first thing. And now I've got the security camera and took out that little security drone over there, so... Great things going on for myself. The children, with their very long needles, their tuneless songs, their ghastly errands, their ghoulish Frankenstein fathers. But we've all placed our hand on the great chain of endeavor. My hand is on it. Fontaine's is on it. We all pull it and are pulled by it. Yes, these children are an abomination. But it is not my hand alone on the chain that created them. No, their little fingers were right there next to mine. It's truly a diseased mind that blames children for the, their suffering. And that's, that's really just meant to show you the depths to which Andrew Ryan is willing to go in order to justify his ideals and their natural extensions. What happened because of his ideas and his plans for rapture and the sort of moral issues he ran into, even though he it isn't really a very moral man. But it, it really just goes to show that exactly what was wrong with Andrew Ryan's ideals that he couldn't even justify them to himself. He needed to explain them to share the burden with others in order to be at peace. He blames the great chain of endeavor, of industry, just so that he can sort of mitigate some of the responsibility that he has for himself. And while that makes sense, it's a very human thing to do. It doesn't justify it. It doesn't make it okay. And that's what Andrew Ryan was trying to do. I can Come on. Ah. I'll just let the turret deal with it. But this is just one of the uh, little secrets that is so wonderful about this area. And I'm running low on proximity mine space, so I'll start using some of those. And that auto hack has... Oh! I Mm -hmm. I have another little sister here. Why would he do that? What kind of a death wish does he have? Oh, distilled water. Oh, come on. I want to see the Houdini Splicer. That's what I got. There we go. That's an action shot of the Rosie. Oh, that wasn't an action shot. 
That should be an action shot of something, surely. One more picture should get me to research. More health and Eve. Tell me that's a research and action shot. Ah, humbug. Looks like I'll just have to deal with it, but... Let's see what that, uh... This says. In ten years, in this dump, I've come to accept a very low standard of life. But even at the bottom of this fish tank, a man must have standards. The pathetic Trudeke down at Morley Winery has started putting water to his terrible wine. Water! When I confront him with this fatty, he tells me, Pierre, this is not to worry. The, the water, she is distilled. It could be worse. I could take it right from the ocean. That's capitalism for you. Or at least, what the devs would like you to see of capitalism. The idea that anything is fair game so long as the consumer is willing to buy it. So long as the consumer doesn't have an issue, they're getting exactly what they pay for. And the idea that is trying to be espoused with that little... Hmm, I, I think I'm willing to risk it. Oh dear. But the idea being espoused by that little... Uh, that little monologue there is that... Oh! Pardon that. I had a little wrong number. We are fine and back to recording, but as I was saying, uh, that really um, goes to show kind of the agenda of the devs. As much as I love the game they've created and uh, the themes and ideas behind it, I do not necessarily agree with them from a political standpoint. And that's one of the things that we very much differ on, is that the devs see capitalism as... Or at least the, the kind of message that you get from this. Oh, I just want to let's go to not sleep. go here. That looks a little too open right now. But the idea that you get from their game is that is this what you want? capitalism <laughs> is sort of a degradation of humanity at its basis point. These splicers, this rapture, <laughs> the whole world, the, the economy, everything. It's just degraded. Everything is worn away and brought to ruin. And that's kind of the idea that you're meant to get. A rapture so. reminder. The bottom of the ocean is our home. From here? Also be a Whoa. Any Hello. Is a bad Report any unexplained Not the bees. Not the bees. This is getting an action shot of this. Oh, God. oh, stop it, bees. But from here, we have a nice little option of whether to... Uh, there's nothing to do but wait out the bees. You just kind of have to sit through the damage, but from here we have the option of heading into the apiary, the Silverwing Apiary, and collecting that B enzyme, or we could head into Warley Winery and pick up a bunch of the distilled waters in there that we're going to need to combine with everything. So let's let's do the bees first. That sounds fun, doesn't it? While this very instability is what gives it its amazing properties, it is also what causes the cosmetic and mental damage. You need more and more atom just to keep back the tide. From a medical standpoint, this is catastrophic. From a business standpoint, well, Fontaine sees the possibilities. Yeah, there you have it. Fontaine sees the possibilities. It seems like we're really running low on these physical tonic slots, so I want to get another one of those. And there's a gene bank over here to immediately fill that in. Let's see, what did I want? It was... I could get some Eve Link, or I could get some natural camouflage. Ah, uh, that's a difficult choice. Considering... You know, I've been burning through a lot of first aid kits, so... No, because I never run low on Eve Hypo, so let's get the natural camouflage. That seems like a good option. And let's take that into this next place, but, uh... That is, once again, the bias of the devs showing through, in that... Uh, they're... The options are a false dichotomy. It's either you have really 
low quality or you have regulations and that's that's just not true Th those smoke controls will allow us to head through this B area generally unmolested it's not perfect but uh, it's my life. it will You're reduce mine. the amounts out it will reduce the amounts of bees that we find in here, but at the same time, it will also summon up some splicers to harry us on our way. There we go. Come on. Where are you off to? And it gives you a little bit of a tick down to let you know that you gotta start getting out. Come on. Once more. How come all these don't injure her? Come on. Be fair game. Seems like I'm running low on ammo for that machine gun, so let's switch over to this pistol. Stop it, bees. Just, just stop. No one likes you. Oh my god. There we go. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, still a fat lot of nothing. That's two, but we need like seven. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Just keep looking around. These two, nothing. That's one. More. Oh god. There we go. Let's start turning around. Oh goodness. Let's let's make some distance. We need to get out. Let's get the shotgun and show them the what for. If I can aim it at all. Goodness. I'm having a little bit of difficulty here for some reason. He's not going to molest you? Fine. I'll go in and deal with you myself. Oh, I thought you were over here. Keep darting around. Shotgun, not as effective at longer ranges, but it'll do the job. Okay. Dive right back in here. Now you go, girl. Oh, there we go. One more. There we go. Frag oh my god, stop. I'm running out of time as well, so I need to bugger off. Let's see what the chemical thrower does to this guy. That, that sounds like a good idea. Enjoy. You can see the DPS this thing turns out, but at the same time, it's very, very ammo hungry. There we go. Yeah, suck it. The damage on this thing, again, is absolutely brilliant. Take it, burn alive, and it puts on a dot, so you can, once you damage someone, you can be assured they're going to die in due to the course. Oh, I wasted all my time dealing with the splicers. That's one of the problems that this place has, is if you spend too much time trying to survive, you're going to end up not having any time to collect the objective. But let's go right back in here. I believe there was a safe over in the corners. Be unto you. One more and we're going to be good, but this guy seems to want to give some issues. Hurry up. There's looks to be a big hive over here. There we go. That's our enzyme sample. Let's hack this safe and let's just auto hack it. I really want to get going. Get back here oh, three free enzyme this. sample? Really? That's messed up. Nothing else here. One second. For some reason, my phone keeps going off. Same wrong number. I. You'd think they would have tried a different one. I don't know what people are thinking, but... Uh, that's all for here. I'm gonna wanna squeeze on out. We got some more pistol ammo, which was something we're running low on, but uh, not quite enough to make it worthwhile. Um... I believe next up we're going to be. Oh, come on. You'd think they'd learn that I can just one shot them right in the face, but I think next up we're going to be heading on into the Warly Winery. But I'm going to leave that for next episode just so that I'm nicely spacing these out. Thank you so much for watching. I'm having an absolute blast. This is a really great level, and I'm really enjoying coming back here after all these years. 
Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I would love to get some feedback in the comments below or start up a discussion. I really enjoy these games, talking about these games, and I'd love to do that with you down in the comments below. So thank you so much for watching, and you all have a great day.